Nerves are really jangling now. Just four teams left in the FA Cup, and the stage is set for an enthralling semi final here at Wembley. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Well, perfect playing conditions here in London at Wembley. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former England defender, Lee Dixon. And we have action from the semi-final stage of the FA Cup just moments away. It's Hull City up against West Ham United. It's almost within touching distance, that final, but this is the biggest game of the tournament for me. You have to be strong, you have to be brave. Can you get into that final? Well, here's how the lineup looks for Hull City. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Thank you. Now, there has been some discussion about their style of play. Some would argue it's on the negative side. What realistically should we expect, Lee? Yeah, they do tend to collapse when they don't have the ball. They sit off the opposition, almost inviting pressure onto them before trying to open up when they do have the ball. I don't think we'll see any changes today in that approach. Played into the center of the box. And the cross into the middle. And a goal! The opening statement in this semi final. How important could that prove to be? Well, here's the replay, Derek. I love a ball into the box. You know that. It's a beauty. And then he does well to read the flight of the ball, doesn't he? just cushions it beyond the keeper in the end and that seems to catch him off guard nice finish
Sufyan Amrabat. Real danger. And not cleared away properly. It's been aimed towards the front first. In it goes! It just gets better and better for them. Another goal, and they can truly dream of the final now. Well, here's the replay. It's a really dangerous ball into the penalty area, and that's a good header. Eye on the ball, concentration. It's a lovely finish. Well, Derek, the floodgates are open. How many goals are they going to score? They've created so many chances. If they put half of them away, it could be a cricket score. Oh, it might be. And a goal! Not over just yet. Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. And because he's on his own, he collects himself and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. Well, let's have another view of that goal. He's driven in the corner. Orsolini. In it goes! It just gets better and better for them. Another goal, and they can truly dream of the final now. Wow, what a lovely controlled finish. Bobby Charlton used to say, pass the ball into the net. He certainly did that. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, his players have followed his every command and some. And it's with Brekalo here. Brekalo. Well, it could be on for him here. Could be. Oh, and he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, as we see, there'll be an inquest between keeper and defenders. He'll be saying, where were you? And they'll be saying, why didn't you catch it? Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? And now they have the ball back. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And the referee has deemed that an additional chance to finish. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely, quick counter-attack that sets up the chance. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Wilkes and take it away there's the referee's whistle and it is official now the visitors are on the way to the final well Derek just look at the celebrations and quite rightly so sometimes semi-finals can be a little bit too much for players one side has to lose one side goes to the final I'm very envious of those players look at them enjoying this moment still work to be done before they pick that famous trophy up though
This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary, and joining me is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Barcelona, and they face Hull City. Well, Derek, with the final so close, really important for both sets of players to stay in the now. Block the final out of the mind. Stay in the semi-final and do your job. The Barcelona shape looks like this. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield. The back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. Here's how the lineup looks for Hull City. A 4-4-2, but with a diamond lead. Yeah, there's four players in midfield, but really only three. The two wide players will stay wide and help the full-backs. There's one just sitting in front of the back four, but the number ten... Promising-looking ball. That's an effective cross aimed at the back first. And a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final. How important could that prove to be? Well, we can see it again here. What a lovely, inviting cross into the danger area that was. And then he does well to read the flight of the ball, doesn't he? Just cushions it beyond the keeper in the end. And that seems to catch him off guard. Nice finish. And a timely intervention. And space to exploit, maybe. A deep delivery. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique!
Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And from there, the soft cushion volley is an absolute dream. I love this goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. The referee is given a corner. Oh, he's given it. The referee says penalty and an opportunity for them to pull one back here. Well, a little lucky to get away without a card. Might be his last warning, though. Really closing him down here. Now can they counter clinically? Oh, big chance. Has a go. Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality. Well, the referee's watch delivered the message to him. A good goal. And thank goodness for technology, Lee. Well, yeah, my watch says 20 past eight, but I believe his watch. And at first thought, I didn't think it was over the line, but there we can clearly see. Well, only just, though. Substitution, then. Let's see how it affects the match. Really getting stuck in. And the referee blows his whistle. That is the end of the contest. And a fine result for the away fans. And if they can repeat this sort of performance on home soil, then they will surely be going through. Yeah, haven't they done well? You can see the confidence in these players. The belief is growing in every game. This tie's not over yet, let's be clear. But they must know that barring a major upset, they are just 90 minutes away from the final.